Hi guys, my name is Kay Sam and really thank you so much for choosing to come to my tutorial. In today's video, we shall have a look at some of the major problems that most DJs are actually facing with the evolution of Virtual DJ 2023. Now, this doesn't actually mean that Virtual DJ 2023 itself is a problem. It's not a general thing, so it's your personal experience and I'm going to give you some of the most effective fixes that are going to help you solve these problems. I'm glad to be your host through this video, so please make sure you stick around to the end. And also, before we get started, please make sure so you subscribe to this channel. It is one way you can help support me and also so you're going to make the YouTube algorithm pick up this video and send to as many people as possible. It's actually free of charge, so please take a second and do it. Let's get started. Now the first problem is a situation in which you're trying to turn down or up the EQ knobs and then Virtual DJ pops up a message telling you to prepare stems or use a reduced quality. Or you actually want to use real-time stem separation but then your PC starts lagging or freezing. Now here is what you should do. First of all, Virtual DJ 2023 requires you to have a dedicated graphics card. At least they recommend using NVIDIA. If you already have a graphics card and you still face the same problem, then you should consider updating or downloading and installing the latest drivers for that particular graphics card. The next thing you can also do is to use pre-made stems. So take some time off guys and separate your stems but also please keep in mind that this can as well be heavy for your CPU so please do it carefully. Another problem is uh, the one that concerns keyboard users. Now we have a lot of guys who really do their mappings and they want to start using the keyboard to play or, or perform a certain task. And then now you have loaded your song to a particular deck, you're ready to press the key to play the song for example and then you really instead find yourself searching for music, right? So any key you press on your keyboard is rushing to search for songs in your library. That is actually so annoying. So to really solve this, it's pretty simple. Please open your configurations and then go to options. And then in the search box above input, browser search by first letter. And then check the box that says no. So now close the settings and then try it out. The third problem. Now if you find that your mappers, your settings, playlists, comments, VPNs or cue points get lost each time you launch Virtual DJ, then that means Virtual DJ doesn't have the permission to write to its home folder or to the root folder of the external drivers where the databases and settings files are saved. This actually is very annoying because each time you, 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 you open Virtual DJ you find you've lost everything. But we can solve it. Now to correct this problem, please check your permissions. So what you have to do for Windows users, you have to use the Windows Explorer to browse to my documents folder and then right click on the Virtual DJ folder and choose properties. Click in the security tab and make sure that your user account is listed and has full control. If you find that your account doesn't have full control, please click edit to adjust the permissions for that account. Once the permissions are adjusted, click apply and choose to apply to all files and subfolders to save your changes. As a secondary precaution, also check the permissions of the database and settings files located in the virtual DJ folder and make sure that they are not set to read only. But also please note that if you use external drives, check that your user account has permission to write to the root of the folder or to the virtual DJ local database files on the drivers. And for Mac users, I don't really have a Mac computer by the time of this recording, so I can't demonstrate it. But the easiest solution is to allow full disk access to Virtual DJ. Alternatively, you can also check if the permissions on your Virtual DJ folder are set correctly. Please look for a tutorial on this one or I'm going to really come about it later if you don't mind. But that is it. Next up, with the first updates and the interesting features of Virtual DJ 2023 and the latest versions of course, you may have installed an update or let's say you just installed Virtual DJ 2023 and then the previous version that you had was version 2021 and then you suddenly realize that the Virtual DJ folder is no longer located in the documents folder. You even still have a backup of your previous skins and mappers for example and you don't have where to put them because the virtual DJ folder has gone missing. And when you open the software, all you can see are two skins, default and old in this case. What are you really going to do about this? Now here is the solution. Please launch your virtual DJ, go to the settings and navigate to options. Click on the small gear button on the right bottom corner of your screen and then this window will pop up. Now copy your previous files into the respective folders of this new window. For my case, I will copy skins and mappers that I had before and boom! 
virtual DJ is already clear and running. If you're still watching this video up to this point, you're really doing a great job. Please pause the video for at least two or five seconds and then leave a like. Let's continue to the next step. Thank you if you just liked the video or if you subscribed. Please show yourself and your country in the comment section down below. I'll be really grateful to know you. The next problem. Your video starts dragging or virtual DJ starts lagging while recording or even previewing the video. Now here are a number of settings or things you need to check out for. Number one, go to options, search for record video FPS. FPS here simply stands for frames per second. Usually make sure it is set to 30, which is also default. 60 frames per second can actually be better, but only try that if your CPU has a capacity to handle the task. If it still lags at 30 frames per second, then a lower value, usually 24 frames per second, will do you better. 60 frames per second is for high-end computers, right? I hope I used the right language there. Another solution is also to search for the video resample quality, still under options, and then set it to medium. A next fix here is uh, disable the video use DVXA if your computer does not have a video card available. Another fix can also be to look for video hardware acceleration and point it to your graphics card in case you have one installed. The problem might be that the computer isn't picking up your video card very well, so pointing up manually in this way will help you solve this problem. You can as well optionally lower your video resolution while recording. This might although have a little impact on your video quality, so please do it at your own risk. This might not be a very important fix. Also, you can search for experimental skin engine and set it to yes or auto. This will help improve your skin rendering performance for the video as well. If you're doing a complicated video mix with complex effects and shaders here and there, then you need to search for the setting called skin use low GPU, then set it to high. But keep it in mind that this will draw a lot of power from your laptop's battery. Otherwise, do a simple mix and set this to low if you want to save your battery. Lastly is to make sure you have some upgrades on your PC, make sure it can handle heavy tasks that include mixing complex videos. I really hope that will help solve your problem as well. Next problem. If Virtual DJ keeps freezing or stopping or closing on its own, saying it's not responding, then that might be caused by one of the third-party skins or plugins that you have installed on your software. So please check them out and then disable them, right, if they're the ones. Please try to disable all the third-party plugins and then see if that problem continues. Also ensure that your computer has enough ventilation and that the fans are running smoothly. That is also one of the major requirements for your computer to stop freezing or shutting down. Yeah. Next up. Now, the next one here is not actually a problem, but it's, but by coincidence, it can be a situation that is quite challenging, especially if you are playing for an angry crowd or for an audience that is too happy. Now, this is what might happen. You have just been given a chance to play as a guest DJ at an ongoing party, and then the current song is about to stop. You literally realize that the crossfader isn't working suddenly, or it is working the opposite way. What should you even do about it? Now this is it. Go to your settings and then to options. Type in crossfader. Now look for where it says crossfader hamster, then check it to know. This will help put the crossfader right instead of it working the reverse way or the opposite way. Also look for the setting called crossfader disable and make sure it is set to no. This means you have just enabled your crossfader. Optionally to save time, you can do this in your mapping section. I will use the letter Y for example. Now, if I type in crossfader below, I should be able to see crossfader disable and crossfader amster. I can always use letter Y to enable or disable the crossfader in one click, or I can use it to reverse the crossfader in one click. Right. Or if I've set it to crossfader hamster, then I can always click it once. Then I can always click letter Y once just to, to invert the crossfader. Right. I will explain the benefits of using the crossfader hamster in the later video if you guys really want it. Anyway, since there are no general errors, there are no general solutions also. So some of these problems might persist, but I have just tried my best to help you figure out what could be going wrong. If these fixes do not solve your problems, then my advice is to step back 
to a previous version of Virtual DJ instead of fighting in vain with these errors. That was it for today guys. I really hope this video helps someone out there. Please kindly help me share and let it reach more people. If there is any other problem that you are facing with Virtual DJ or you want to suggest a better solution to any that I have included in this video, please leave it in the comment section down below and I will be glad to respond. I will also make another video talking about more of the problems that I will be getting from you guys and I will be glad to help. Please leave a like and subscribe today if you haven't yet and then turn on the small bell to be notified of more fresh uploads. Bye. See you in the next one. Peace.